I'm Courtney Ortega with the Star Telegram and welcome to another segment of Fab or Flub. Today we're going to be taking a look at Herbal Essence's Naked Dry Shampoo. Now, in case you're not familiar with dry shampoo, it's actually a concept that's been around for a couple decades, if not centuries. Back in the day, people used to put baby powder in their hair to absorb oil so that they didn't have to wash their hair every day. Nowadays, they have bottled it in a bottle that looks just like hairspray. So you might ask, why do you not wash your hair every day or why would you not want to? Well, there are several reasons why you wouldn't want to, but the biggest being that washing your hair too much can be actually really um, damaging to your hair. It can be drying, it can leave it brittle, it can be stripping it of its natural moisture. There are actually a lot of dry shampoos currently out on the market. I first tried of dry shampoos about two or three years ago, um, the one that Tresemme currently makes. I liked it, but I kind of didn't know if I liked it that much, and I wasn't really sure if I even was using it correctly, so I kind of just sort of stopped using it altogether. Recently though, in the past year, I've gotten back on the dry shampoo wagon. I've been using Batiste dry shampoo. Now they have a bunch of different fragrances, but the overall, just the formula uh, that they use, I have had really great results with it. Love the way it makes my hair look. Looks really refreshed, volumized, really great. Now, this particular dry shampoo is a part of Herbal Essence's new Naked line. All of the products in that particular line are made from natural ingredients, and just like this dry shampoo, they are paraben-free and colorant-free. Now most dry shampoos, they employ the use of starch in order to absorb the oils from your hair. This one in particular uses tapioca starch, and I have to say, I think that's, this is the first dry shampoo that I've heard of using tapioca starch. Whenever I first used the dry shampoo, it was just basically the day after, you know, my previous shower. Um, just took my shower as normal, keeping my hair up, and then applying afterwards the dry shampoo, just like you would hairspray. So it kind of just like this. Now, I have to say the first thing, and I notice it now too, that you notice about this dry shampoo, the smell. It's very clean, it's very citrusy. It's really just a nice fragrance, uh, which is great. My Batiste dry shampoo that I love so much, they tend to be really fragrant, um, which, you know, th that can be fine, but at times, you know, that can also be overpowering. This is just really clean, great smell. The second thing that I noticed after the smell was it left my hair a little wet feeling, which is weird to me because dry shampoos are supposed to be dry. But, you know, after I massaged the product into my hair, it did, you know, remove the oil, natural oils that had seeped into my hair, um, you know, from not washing it. And so I thought that was great. As far as volume wise, I didn't feel like it gave my hair tons of volume compared to other formulas, you know, but I thought it, you know, it did make my hair look, a little, give it a little more umph, you know, than it had from sleeping on it overnight. So, you're probably wondering, what did I think of this dry shampoo? Is it worth going out and trying and grabbing and using right now, this minute? Well, this dry shampoo for me, it was a flab. And you're probably wondering, what is flab? Well, it's somewhere between <laughs> fab and flub. I like this product, but I don't love it. Um, the smell is great. Um, it does exactly what it's supposed to, removing you know, the oils from your hair but I have to say that I did not like the wet texture, the wetness that it left in my hair initially. Um, I don't think compared to the Batiste dry shampoo, it gives your hair, a, you know, enough volume that you probably would like. Now for $5, you know, in comparison to my Batiste shampoo, which is also $5, you know, am I gonna go with the one that makes my hair look amazing or the one where, that makes my hair look, you know, kind of, you know, nice? I'm probably gonna go with the one that makes my hair look amazing. That said, you know, I still think if you haven't tried, uh, haven't tried dry shampoo and you're looking for something natural, you know, it's definitely worth giving a try. So I hope you enjoyed our review today. If you want to see the full written review, you can go online to our website, startelegram.com. If you're interested in seeing other previous Fab or Flub videos, you can check down below in the info box. We have a link to our playlist with all our videos. Until next time, I'm Courtney Ortega with Star Telegram. Have a nice day.